Hello, everyone, and welcome to OWN TV's coverage of Dragon Athletics. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke, and we have a uh, big game for you today. Again, varsity softball on the docket here at ONTV TV Sports, and it is Troy Athens in town to take on your hometown, Dragons. And uh, the Dragons in this doubleheader will be here for the first game. And if we're lucky enough to earn a win tonight in the game one, they will clinch the OAA uh, divisional title. So a nice chance to hopefully see a, uh, a trophy hoisted today. And the Dragons are uh, kind of on a roll this time. Last time we were on the air, uh, the Colts from Troy were in town. And the Dragons took care of them with some power hitting and some power pitching with Gonzalez on the mound. And she will be taking the mound, Sierra Gonzalez, number 33, be taking the mound against uh, the Red Hawks tonight, and we're expecting a gem as always. So uh, the end of the regular season is just around the corner. I believe these are the last two games, and the playoffs start next week with uh, Lake Orion taking on Waterford Mott in the first round here at this field. So I want to thank you all for tuning in. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll have the start of this contest after this short timeout. You're watching Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Athletics. Three students were in the hospital this past weekend. Two honor roll students were hospitalized last night. Five local students lost their college scholarships last night. Another local high school student has passed away. Another three dead. Claimed the life of another local teenager. Because? Alcohol. 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 I don't want to be another number. 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 I don't want to be just another number. And we're back here on TV's coverage of Varsity Softball. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke, and we have the Troy Athens Red Hawks in town to take on your hometown Dragons. A beautiful day. It looked kind of sketchy early on in the morning, and it's cleared out nicely, but it is a cold one out here. It looks like a, a nice spring day, but it is chilly, and the wind is blowing out of the north, it looks like, at a pretty steady clip, and that... Uh, the flag out at dead center field is standing standing tall, and the teams are uh, huddling up in front of their dugouts, getting ready to go. And let's take a look at who we have up to uh, bat here for Athens. Uh, number one, Sarah Watson. Two, Mary Grace Stark. Number thir uh, three, Haley Zimmer. Number 14, Lauren Gren General, I think. Erica Simmets, Amanda Mitfelt, Maddie Rizzo, and Sam Stosik, and batting last is Jensen Obranovic for Athens. And you see the Dragons warming up, getting ready to go. And one thing we saw against uh, Troy just one week ago is the steady infield play of the Dragons. Um, every ground ball was accounted for and taken care of. Uh, no errors whatsoever. And uh, it was just a steady uh, as she go uh, play that we've seen all year from these Dragons. And it was a different story for the Colts in the uh, win for the Dragons. They were having difficulty at the shortstop position, just stopping any ground ball that came their way. But the Dragons really made their mark with the long ball and the power hitting. And um, top to bottom in their lineup, uh, I don't see any weaknesses. And anybody can uh, cause damage any uh, game of the week. So we're hoping to have uh, that power again on display tonight. Troy Athens uh, has a, a good top third of their lineup, but uh, I don't think they have the talent top to bottom that the Dragons do. But uh, we have number three, Sarah Watson, up to bat uh, to get us underway here in this contest. And again, if the Dragons can pull out a win here in game one, three, they Sarah will be uh, securing the OAA title as Gonzalez gets ready to go here to open, the, uh, open this game up. Last of the regular season underway, and strike call right away for Gonzalez. It is senior night here. It was supposed to be one day ago prior. Um, I guess it has rained out, so that game was canceled. And ball outside, one and one here on Watson. Watson plays third base for uh, the Red Hawks. Coming in, slap hit, foul. One ball, two strikes. And we want to thank all of our viewers for tuning in all season long to uh, Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Athletics. 
our volunteers and staff have been busy all season long. We got going back in August when the Dragons took on uh, Oxford in football, and we've been going strong ever since, uh, almost a game a week all the way through month after month, and we conclude here tonight with this contest against Troy Athens, and that ball is just foul. Watson staying alive. Two balls, two strikes. The lefty trying to slap it over uh, to uh, left field. Strike three looking. Nice way to start this game off. First K of the night for Sierra Gonzalez. And statistically speaking, Gonzalez uh, leads this team in ERA. And uh, what are we looking at here? Yeah, she does a nice job. And just as a first-year varsity player, freshman, a ninth grader. And uh, number seven, Mary Grace Stark, the shortstop, number seven, up for the Athens Red Hawks and takes strike one. Strike two. Painting that outside corner. A lot of movement on that ball. Gonzalez does a nice job mixing up the pitches and keeping the batters off balance. Just misses outside. Tough to lay off that pitch, but Stark does. One ball, two strikes. Right down, right down the middle. That's two batters up, two Ks. Both looking. Now batting number 13, Haley Zimmer. Gonzalez has got it dialed in early here in the first inning. Two quick outs, two up, two down with two Ks. Gonzalez bringing the speed ball in just inside. Haley uh, Zimmer, the pitcher, number 13, is up for the Red Hawks. Off speed. Nicely done. Zemmer way out front of that one. One ball, one strike. It is a chilly day out here. Just outside. Two balls, one strike. If you've never been to the field out here, I encourage you to come on down and just take a peek at it. I know uh, next uh, week we have the uh, MHSAA uh, softball tournament beginning. And I believe uh, this field is a uh, tournament site. And the Dragons have drawn Waterford Mott in the first round. As Zimmer sits at three balls, one strike. Oh, I think uh, Zimmer thought that was strike three. She got a little ahead of herself there. It's still going here. Full count now. Three balls, two strikes on Zimmer. And just gets a piece of it to stay alive. Julie Molier behind the plate here for the Dragons takes that one off the face mask. Yeah, the uh, relationship between catcher and pitcher is well known in softball and baseball. Foul ball stays alive once again. Fastball coming in uh, around the letters. And Zimmer took a rip at it. Full count, two out here in the top of the first inning. No score. Got a little bit more of that one and sends that one off into the parking lot. Yeah, uh, talking to uh, Coach Whitera for the Dragons today, he was mentioning that the draw here for the Dragons in the, uh, the state softball tournament was a rather tough one. Still alive. And in the first round, Water for Mott will be here taking on the Dragons. If they manage to get by Mott, they'll be facing Waterford Kettering. So Waterford Kettering and Mott are always a tough out no matter which league you're in. Off speed, nicely done. Strikes out the side. Sierra Gonzalez gets it going here in the first. Dragons are up next as they change sides. We're going to take a quick break. You're watching Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Softball. 
always remember that CFL bulbs, you know, those curly, energy-efficient light bulbs everybody is using to save electricity, shouldn't be thrown away in your trash. Neither should batteries or home medical sharps. You can check with your local community to see where they can be recycled. Some retailers will allow you to bring them in for recycling. You can also order simple kits online that allow you to collect your recyclables and simply mail them away to be properly recycled. This green tip was brought to you by your friends at Waste Management. And welcome back. Uh, bottom of the first inning about to get underway here. The Red Hawks out uh, getting warmed up here in the field is uh, top of the lineup here for the Dragons gets ready to go. Alex Carpenter, third base, will be up first. And uh, order DVD copies of this program by calling Owen TV at 248-693-3377 for only $10. You can copy this or any other event covered by Owen TV or any other program in our broadcasting vault. That's DVD copies, only $10. Call 248-693-3377. Yeah, baseball. Let's uh, talk about the baseball team. They wrapped up an OAA Red Division title with an 11-4 record, and uh, I believe it was on... Uh, Monday, the 20th of May, that they wrapped that up in a doubleheader against Stony Creek. And the win, uh, the first game of the doubleheader went 10 innings. And they got the win in walk-off fashion. And uh, they tied Clarkston with a, an equal 11-4 record in OAA Red play to take home a uh, share of the Red title. Well, today here we have the OAA Red title on... On the line here for the Dragons as uh, Carpenter takes strike one from Zemmer. Slow roller to the mound, and Carpenter goes down for the first out. Julie Malier, the catcher, is up to uh, bat here for the Dragons in the bottom of this inning. No score, and uh, if you're just joining us, uh, Sierra Gonzalez, the pitcher for the Dragons, uh, set him up and set him down three strikeouts in the first inning and did a nice job to get this game underway here for the Dragons. A lot of chatter out there talking up the players. Nice crowd on hand for this contest here. Chopper to third, just foul. One ball, one strike on Malier. With uh, Rachel Doland on deck. It's hard to believe that the uh, sports season is almost over. Change up high. Malier does a nice job to lay off that one. Two balls, one strike, one out here in the bottom of the first. Grounder to short. Easy throw to the first, high throw, but taken in easily by uh, the first baseman, uh, Matty Rizzo. And that's two outs here for uh, the Red Hawks. And number 12 up for Rachel Dolan. A short stop here for the Dragons up to bat. Dolan hitting uh, 456 on the season. As first pitch called strike paints the outside corner. Zimmer doing a nice job so far here for the Red Hawks. Nice pitch there. Dolan out front of that one just a little bit. No balls, two strikes, and uh, Zimmer looking to get out of this one. Slapper just foul. No balls, two strikes, nobody on. Dolan to look to get a uh, two-out rally here. See if she can get on. Ooh, strike three call. First strikeout for uh, Zimmer, and that's the end of the first. We'll take a short timeout as we change sides. You're watching Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Softball. Stay tuned. 
Hey, this is Mickey York from Fox Sports Detroit. When I want to get the inside scoop on local sports, I watch between Terminus or Fox Sports Detroit. And welcome back. We're about to start the top of the second inning. The first one uh, went pretty quickly in 1-2-3 fashion for uh, both teams. Uh, Gonzalez uh, recorded three strikeouts to get out uh, her side of the inning. And the Dragons went 1-2-3 with one strikeout to close out the bottom of the first. And here we are at the top of the second with uh, number 14, Lauren General, the first base baseman coming up to uh, bat here for Troy Athens. Be sure to tune into Game of the Week on Orion Neighborhood Television, Comcast uh, Channel 10, and AT&T U-verse Channel 99, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. exclusively on ONTV. Tune in to see the most current games in our lineup and watch the Dragons in action. We have soccer and softball currently in a rotation. Also visit our webpage at orionontv.org for our program schedule. And inside pitch uh, brush, brushes uh, General off the plate, but it paints that inside corner, strike one. Nice pitch again, two quick strikes. And uh, Sierra Gonzalez doing what we saw against Troy, mixing up her pitches nicely. Just misses. Fastball outside. Probably don't see it on our uh, center field cam that we have new this game. But that ball is uh, moving right to left. And left to right, she's really putting some movement on that pitch. Two balls, two strikes on General. Change up high, just, just a piece of it. Boy, it's tempting. Looks like a big meatball coming at you, and the ball keeps going up. Inside, ball. Full count here. General battled back to a full count call. Wind is really blowing out there in center field. Right down the middle and foul out of play. General stays alive. So Gonzalez had four Ks in the game against Troy. And she registers her fourth already here in this contest. She had a total of four strikeouts against Troy just one week ago, and against Athens, she's met that number early on, has set every batter down via strikeout so far. One out. Slow roller is short, scooped up, and finished nicely by the Dragons. Good scoop by Dolan. And the finish by Hame. Dragons are dial in. Something we saw at the beginning uh, while the, the ladies were warming up is they were goofing around, laughing, having a good time. And a, a team that's having a good time is one that's loose and ready to go. Foul ball. Number four, Amanda Midfelt, the right fielder up for Troy Athens. No balls, one strike here on Midfelt. Strike. Nice pitch there by Gonzalez. Now we're just trying to learn the softball game here. We usually do baseball, soccer, basketball, and the others. And uh, the terminology, we're trying to learn it. I understand the, uh, there were some notes taken and handed my way <laughs> from the last game when we were here for the Colts. And... We're trying to learn our way, so be patient with us. We'll be out here for more games next spring for sure because uh, we just want to say thank you to uh, all the coaches and all the staff here and everybody associated with Dragon Softball welcomed us in, and we're very uh, you know happy that we come out and do these games. 
and we're happy to be here. So no balls, two strikes, two outs here in the top of the second. Midfelt trying to stay alive here, and Gonzalez looking for fifth K of the game. Just stays alive. Amanda Midfelt doing a nice job shaking her hand there a little bit. Uh, it is a chilly one out here. Line drive to third, and Carpenter takes care of Midfelt, and that's the end of the inning. One, two, three, once again for the Dragons. But Gonzalez is on a roll so far early in this one. As we change sides, we'll take a quick timeout. You're watching Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Softball. Stay tuned. We want a habitat home. I love working on my habitat home. Soy dueño de una casa de habitat. My neighbor is a habitat homeowner. Being a Habitat homeowner has changed our lives. My mortgage payment for Habitat is less than what I paid for rent. Habitat for Humanity of Oakland County currently has homes available with mortgage payments lower than most rent payments. If you or someone you know needs decent and affordable housing, call 248-338-1843 or visit our website at habitatoakland.org. And welcome back to uh, the bottom of the second inning. Red Hawks in town taking your taking on your hometown Dragons. And so far we have a uh, little pitcher's duel going on here with Gonzalez registering four strikeouts already. Zimmer from Troy Athens with one. But it's ground balls and foul balls all around. So uh, Kayla Knoblock up the left fielder here for the Dragons, number 16, looking to uh, change that. She's averaging 509. According to my sheet, I'm sure it's probably higher than that as she takes strike one from Zimmer. Center fielder is shading to the right. Uh, change up. High. One ball, one strike on Knoblock. You saw against uh, the Colts from Troy one week ago, the uh, Line up top to bottom just peppered the pitching of the Colts. Tonight's a little different story. Zimmer's got some uh, some power behind uh, that fastball of hers. Just a matter of recognizing it and getting around on that, uh, getting around, get around on that pitch. One ball, two strikes. Grounder over to second. Easy toss to first, and they register the first out. Up next is Kennedy Thomas, the center fielder, number 22 here now for the Dragons. Kennedy Thomas. So far we're looking at a uh, okay. the making of a tight ball game here. Athens has played well all season long as the fast ball sails high and wide. Ball one. Thomas steps back into the box, fouls that one off. Yeah, we bring you the center field cam for the first time this season. A little extra cable made it all <laughs> made it all the way around the 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 back uh, wall there, and we're able to bring you the uh, center field cam for the first time as uh, Thomas uh, goes high for that one. Is down. One ball, two strikes here with one out in the bottom of the second. Right down the middle, strike three for the strikeout. Second strikeout for Zimmer. Now batter number 21, Alicia Gronowski. Alicia Gronowski, second baseman up, number 21 for the Dragons. With two outs, nobody on in the bottom of the second. We haven't seen one ball hit out of the infield yet today. Fastball high. A lot of velocity on that pitch from Zimmer. It's a chilly one out here. On the screen it looks like it's a nice sunny day, but it is a, it's a doozy. I think it feels like we're in the low 50s, if not the high 40s. It's chilly out here. Two balls, no strikes, two outs here. In the bottom of the second. 
Gronowski stands and you're ready. Strike one called, paints the outside corner. I believe it's the same uh, home plate umpire we had against Troy and the corners of the plate are in play. Just outside, three balls, one strike. Good eye by Kennedy Thomas, or excuse me, Alicia Gronowski, number 21. Should get a good pitch here. High fly ball foul out of play. Full count, three balls, two strikes, two outs. Yeah, the uh, Troy game that we did uh, just one week ago is up on YouTube. So if you're interested, tune in uh, to our uh, web page at orientontv.org and click on our YouTube link, and it'll take you right to our YouTube channel. Gronowski out front on that pitch just a little bit and pulls it, that one foul. But Zemmer, Zemmer's bringing the heat here to the Dragons tonight. Coach Wojtera at first base giving encouragement to uh, Gronowski. Stays alive. Gronowski, nice job here. Nice at bat. Gronowski is a senior, one of the three seniors on this squad. And nice job by the senior. Drawing in a walk, the first base, base runner of the day. Now batting number 18, Hannah Hamey. As Hannah Hamey, first baseman, comes up number 18. Try to keep this inning alive. First walk uh, registered by Zemmer. Gronowski shows steal. But runs back to first base. Uh, Obranovic, the catcher for Athens, uh, showed the throw to second. And their old pitch was close, but they're going to call it a strike. No balls, two strikes here, and Hamez in a 0-2 hole. Gets a hold of that one, back over the backstop, foul ball, stays alive. No balls, two strikes, two outs with one on here in the bottom of the second. Change up low, skips that one across home plate. And Hemez batting 324 on the season, slugging 405. She's drawn four walks on the season. One ball, two strikes. Another ball skips over, a little low on that fastball. We'll see what Hamay does with this one here. And a fly ball to the first baseman. Had a lot of spin on it. It was shifting in the, in the air, but uh, handled easily. And that's the end of the inning. Dragons uh, get a uh, walk and one base runner, and that's about it. We're headed to the top of the third after this short timeout. You're watching Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Softball.
we're back here to start the uh, top of the third. No score and a uh, real pitcher's uh, battle going on here. Sierra Gonzalez uh, has four strikeouts and uh, Haley Zimmer, number 13, the pitcher here for Troy Athens, has two and one walk. And 17 is up. Mandy Rizzo, the left fielder here for the Red Hawks. Gonzalez looking to uh, continue this hot start. She's shown so, shown so far tonight. As the crowd starts to gather here, nice uh, crowd on hand for this contest. They know what's at stake. Outside, ball one. Again, a win tonight. If they can take it in the first game, Dragons will take uh, the OA title. Inside, nice pitch, strike one. I was talking to the athletic director here, uh, Bill Reese for LOHS, and um, he said the success of the squad this year is really unexpected. They know they have talent, but they were thought like next year would be the year that they would uh, really explode on the scene in the OAA, and to, it's this year they're a year early, and this team is quite young. Uh, just three seniors, the rest are uh, were sprinkled with uh, juniors and sophomores as two balls, one strike is the count on Matty Rizzo. See if Gonzalez can settle down here. Should get a good pitch here for Rizzo. Strike two on the left fielder. Three balls, two strikes, no outs here. See what Gonzalez pulls out of her bag of tricks. Nice pitch. Fastball high, and Rizzo chases. That is another strikeout. Now batting number eight, Sam Stosiak. Five strikeouts registered by the freshman uh, pitcher, Gonzalez, here for the Dragons, and doing a nice job. Sam Stosiak. Stosik up here for the Red Hawks. High fly ball in fair ter foul territory, playable, and just missed. Got a little close to that uh, defense over there, but a good effort. Gonzalez stares down the batter, ready to go here. Just a little low. Gonzalez realizes that uh, the corners are in play and just painted it, but just a hair low. One ball, one strike. Stosiak. Fans on that one. Sam Stosiak, the second base uh, baseman here for Troy Athens. Sitting one ball, two strikes. Just outside. With only uh, two balls, Gonzalez can get creative here. Short fly to short stop and easily handled right there. Dolan takes care of that out, right? Two outs now here now in the over. top of the third. Obranovic, the catcher here for uh, Troy Athens, number two. The lefty stands in the box here with two outs. Infield moves in quick. I think they have a scouting report on number two. <laughs> First time we saw that. Dragons are prepared for uh, the bunt. And two balls, no strikes here. Obranovich doing a nice job of laying off some of those uh, questionable pitches by Gonzalez. Right down the middle. Gonzalez does a nice job of teasing you with the different pitches that she has in her arsenal. Wind's picking up again, a big gust. Fly ball and foul territory, but handled by Carpenter again. And that ends the inning 
one, two, three, with another strikeout by Gonzalez. We're headed to the bottom of the third. We'll be back after this short timeout. You're watching Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Softball. Stay tuned. Three students were in the hospital this past weekend. Two honor roll students were hospitalized last night. Five local students lost their college scholarships last night. Another local high school student has passed away. Another three dead. Claimed the life of another local teenager. The cause? Alcohol. 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 I don't want to be another number. 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 I don't want to be just another number. And welcome back. Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Softball continues. Bottom of the third, about to get underway. And don't forget, you can order DVD copies of this and any other event covered by Orion Neighborhood Television by calling 248-693-3377. For only $10, you can get out via this and anything in our broadcasting vault. So give us a call today, 248-693-3377. If you ever thought about becoming a part of Owen TV and working on, let's say, a softball match as a camera operator, uh, just give us a call and learn about orientation. It's the first step to becoming a part of Orion Neighborhood Television. Orientation is free, and uh, you can learn about all the different opportunities that are available to you when you come on down to our studio at 1349 Joslin Road at the Orion Center. You can sign up for video production classes, field production, and studio production. And it's just an all-around uh, exciting experience to be part of Orion Neighborhood Television as Megan Hall steps up as the designated player here for the Dragons, looking to get something going here in the bottom of the third. And a high infield fly and easily handled by number three, Sarah Watson, for the first out of the inning. Now batting number 17, Megan Reamer. It's amazing the spin they put on the ball, and it probably doesn't even show up on the screen, but when that ball goes up, it's moving. Of all the English on the ball from the... Uh, that spin they uh, put on it. Megan Reamer up here for the Dragons. Follows that one back. Zember doing a nice job with her power. We saw her warming up and uh, really trying to get the power up and uh, it was a bit wild, but in the innings she's been nice and steady. Slap. Slap right onto the home plate, and that's a foul ball. 0-2, oh, the count here on number 17. The right fielder, Megan Reamer. Or Reamer, excuse me. Just outside. One ball, two strikes, one out in the bottom of the third. No score. We've only had one base runner, and that was a, a drawn walk by the Dragons. Quite in contrast to the game we had against the Colts. Wild pitch, but nobody on to take advantage. Two balls, two strikes. The sun is out in force. And so is the wind. Two balls, two strikes, and ball high, full count. Nice job by uh, by Megan to stay alive. Full count here. And another walk drawn. Megan looked back at the home play of up saying, what was that one? She said, yep, take your base. Second walk registered by Zemmer and the Red Hawks. As we go to the top of the order again, Alex Carpenter, the third baseman, comes up to hit. Ball low. We'll see if uh, only one out. So stealing is an option here for the Dragons. Ball hit to center field, high fly ball, and played easily by Erica Semetz. And there's two outs here. I'm not sure if the wind knocked that one down, 
but it left the bat in a hurry. But played Julie. easily by Cements in center field. Julie Molier, the catcher here for the drag, is number 24 up to bat with two outs and one on. No hits registered yet for either squad. Strike right down the middle. Flag is uh, whipping out there. A lot, big gusts of wind. Skipped into home plate and easily taken by Megan Reamer and she gets a steal. So runner in scoring position here with two outs in the bottom of the third. No balls, one strike. First time any uh, team has gotten a runner to second base. And a base hit into left field. And Remmers coming home to score. One nothing, Dragons take the lead here in the bottom of the third on heady base running by Megan Reamer. Gets into scoring position on a steal and then a nice hit. Nice hit to get her in. Very nice there by uh, Julie Malier, the, the catcher here for the Dragons, to get her in. And she'll come off first base to have a uh, pinch runner, or a guest runner is the term. Rachel Dolan. Now the Dragons are feeling some momentum here with two outs here in the bottom of the third. Ball call here on Zimmer. Rachel Dolan. Batting 456 on the season, slugging 702. But she's drawn 13 walks and out at second base to end the inning. Dragons get aggressive on the base pads, but it pays off. Earns a run here in the bottom of the first. Dragons up 1 0 on Troy Athens. We'll switch sides here and take a break. You're watching Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Softball. Stay tuned. Hello, I'm Mike Bouchard, the Oakland County Sheriff. There's a big problem that faces all the communities in America today, and that's abuse of legitimate prescription drugs. Sometimes they're left in the home when a loved one passes away, or they're in the medicine cabinet for someone else, and a youngster in the home steals it and they abuse it. It's one of the fastest growing drug abuses that we see in our community and across the country. Secondly, we see these drugs oftentimes when they're no longer utilized being flushed down the drain and we're seeing higher levels of residual pharmaceuticals in our waterways and our streams. So to solve two problems with one effort, we partnered with Home Instead Senior Care to start a program called Operation Medicine Cabinet to get those drugs out of the homes, out of the hands of youngsters and out of the waterway and safely and environmentally destroy them. Learn more about the program at OperationMedicineCabinetMI.com and be part of the solution. Thank you. And welcome back to Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Softball. Dragons uh, have the uh, lead here in the, uh, the top of the fourth, one nothing, on some aggressive base uh, running. Nice job to uh, see what uh, Jensen Obranovic, uh, the catcher number two for Troy Athens, can do. And they tested her uh, one time, and it worked two times, and she threw them out. But uh, it, the, the aggressiveness worked, and the Dragons did a nice job of getting the runner in scoring position, and it paid off with a nice hit. So the Dragons lead 1-0 here at the start of the fourth inning. And Gonzalez is doing a nice job so far, registering five strikeouts with, on no walks. No hits and no runs. Crowd gathering here in the stands to cheer on the Dragons. And again, uh, this uh, game is pretty important to the Dragons here. A win will give them the OA title. I shouldn't say give them, but they'll earn the OA title with a win here tonight. It is a doubleheader. On TV, will be covering the first game of this uh, doubleheader here. Nice action here on the field. Uh, the wind is whipping around a sunny day, not a cloud in the sky. They, the clouds seem to have blown off to the uh, east. Get turned around here in the press box, but it's in the east. Slapper to third, played nicely by the Dragons. Way to go, Alex Carpenter again. So far, she's tagged uh, two, two fly balls and that, that screaming grounder. And that... Uh, 
third base over there. Boy, Alex Carpenter, she is on her toes and ready to go. Stark up here for Athens. Charging in right field. Megan Reamer catches that one. Number 17, nice job. That one's right where the sun is, so that was a challenging uh, fly ball, and she uh, makes it routine as uh, pitcher Haley Zemmert steps up to the plate. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Gonzalez goes inside. We were looking at the uh, the calls here, and we thought the corners were in play. I guess on that one, not so much. Change up just a little bit low. Two balls, no strikes. Two outs here in the top of the fourth. And a heater right by Zimmer. Can't catch up to that one. Outfield's playing straight up. Ball is in play and played for the third out. First base, uh, Hannah Hame gets it done in a quick one, two, three inning here in the top of the fourth. And Athens sits down. We'll change sides and take a break. We'll be back after this short timeout. You're watching Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Softball. Hey, this is Mickey York from Fox Sports Detroit. When I want to get the inside scoop on local sports, I watch between Terminus or Fox Sports Detroit. And welcome back to uh, OTV's coverage of Dragon Softball. Uh, the Dragons earn one run in the bottom of the third on a walk, a steal, and a base hit. So one hit registered uh, by the Dragons, and uh, no hit so far for Troy Athens. So uh, this is a key uh, inning here for the Dragons. We saw them break it open in the in the fourth inning against Troy just one week ago, but obviously this is a different ball game all around. And Zimmer on the mound for Troy Athens has done a nice job with her power as Rachel Dolan, number 12, up for the Dragons, pulls that one foul for strike one. Let's see what we have on Dolan. Only five strikeouts on this season. She scored 25 runs, or excuse me, runs in 19 RBI. Dragons like to get a leadoff runner here. Outside. Two balls, one strike on Dolan. Infield for the Dragons so far has been very, very steady. High heater out of the strike zone. Three balls, one strike. Haley Zimmer has registered two walks so far. And one of those directly led to the Dragons' first run. And there's a third walk of the, uh, the game for Zimmer. And the Dragons have the leadoff uh, batter in this inning on base. As we swap runners here, Rachel Dolan takes a seat. And I don't have zero. I think her number is zero. So we have a guest runner here on uh, first base. It's number 16, Kayla Knoblock. The left fielder steps up. Swings at pitch one and just out of reach. No balls, one strike, no outs here in the bottom of the fourth. Dragons lead Troy Athens, 1-0. Gonzalez for the Dragons. Sierra Gonzalez, the freshman uh, pitcher, doing a nice job registering five strikeouts. Infield fly, played by Zimmer easily for the first out of the inning. And there goes that. Kennedy Thomas up. Number 22, center fielder. Dragons looking to get the runner at first over to second any way possible. 
Dragon show steal, but we saw that in the uh, bottom of the third. They were keeping the catcher, number two, uh, Jensen Obranovic, on. All oh, laced into left center, all the way to the wall. And they're holding the runner at third as a double is registered by Kennedy Thomas. The second big hit of the game for the Dragons, and it's a doozy. Boy, she hit that a ton, and it was on a on a rope to left center field and landed at the base of the wall. The Dragons have something going here in the bottom of the fourth to break it open. We shall see. Granowski up here for the Dragons. Strike one. Zemmer in a jam here, see if she can get out of it. One out, two on, second and third. Tap foul, looking for the bunt. And that one is foul, so to strike two on Granowski. Granowski takes a practice swing and steps in the box, ready to go. No balls, two strikes. Oh, inside, looked like hitter. And the runners thought it was a pass ball, and they'll go back to... Uh, we back to their uh, bases, but it's uh, the bases are loaded now. Gronowski was hit in the uh, the in the left foot. It looked like so we have a walk and a hit batter, and uh, Zemmer is in a real hole here, but responds with a first pitch strike against Hannah Hame, the first baseman for the Dragons. Dragons would love a base hit here. No balls, one strike. Chopper to short, gets through. That'll get a run in. That'll get two in. Dragons breaking it open here in the bottom of the fourth. Nice hitting by Heme, and that's two, two RBI for uh, Heme. Dragons up 3 nothing. So the errors are coming back to Hunt, Haley Zimmer, and the Athens Red Hawks. A walk and a hit batter. And we have a, a swap in runners here. Nice job by Hannah Hame. The sophomore gets the job done with the bases loaded as Hall comes to the plate. Number eight, Megan Hall. Still two on here with one out in the bottom of the fourth. A screamer over to first and tagged out easily, but the runners advance to second and third. So just as good as a bunt, uh, Hall moves the players over, the runners over. And they're in scoring position still. We have 17, Megan Reamer, the right fielder, comes to the plate. As coach uh, Joe Waitera chats it up with one of his assistants. Assistant coaches uh, for the Dragons are Dave Wilson and Larry Dunn. Team captain, captains are uh, Alicia Granowski, Julie Malier, and Kennedy Thomas. And the conference is over. And Megan uh, Reamer comes up to the plate. Would love to get a couple more runs in here. Three-nothing Dragons lead it in the bottom of the fourth. Two on, two out. Tapper to the pitcher and played the first for the third out. And that's it for the uh, bottom of the fourth. But the Dragons do the damage. Two runs. And the lead is 3-0 as we go to the top of the fifth. Dragons lead at 3-0. We're going to take a quick timeout. You're watching ON TV's coverage of Dragon volley Volleyball. Softball, where am I? We'll see you later. Please remember that CFL bulbs, you know, those curly, energy-efficient light bulbs everybody is using to save electricity, shouldn't be thrown away in your trash. Neither should batteries or home medical sharps. You can check with your local community to see where they can be recycled. Some retailers will allow you to bring them in for recycling. 
You can also order simple kits online that allow you to collect your recyclables and simply mail them away to be properly recycled. This green tip was brought to you by your friends at Waste Management. All right, we're back. Top of the fifth. And you see the nice crowd on hand. We have some uh, balloons decorating the stands over there. It is senior night. I guess senior night was supposed to be uh, the previous evening, but due to that crazy weather we've had over the last couple days, it was canceled. So tonight is senior night, and the uh, stadium is decorated nicely here for the three seniors uh, playing their last regular season home game. And you can see we love our seniors. Uh, I think that's uh, written in cups, pushed through the uh, fence. So it's, uh, it's a nice uh, tribute to the seniors as the Dragons open here and a fly ball to left or right field and played nicely. That ball was carrying. I thought that was an infield fly, but it just kept carrying. And uh, Megan Reamer did a nice job of fighting off that sun once again to make that play. It's harder than you think. And uh, Dragons get one out here quickly in the top of the fifth. Fastball right down the middle for a strike. Erica Cement, center fielder up here for Troy Athens. Troy Athens has yet to have a base runner, but it looks like Oh, nice snag by shortstop Rachel Dolan. I almost did the classic jinx. It doesn't look like they've had a base runner, and she almost laced one into uh, left center, but Dolan was now there to bail me four, out. Thank you, uh, Rachel, for that. I'll watch my mouth next time. <laughs> And a heater again for strike one. Amanda Midfelt, the right fielder, number four up. No balls, one strike. Two outs here in the top of the fifth. Dragons lead 3-0. Again, chopper to third. Easy routine ground ball. And that is one, two, three. Quick inning here for the Dragons. We move on to the bottom of the fifth. After this timeout, Dragons up 3-0 on Troy Athens. Stay tuned. Three students were in the hospital this past weekend. Two honor roll students were hospitalized last night. Five local students lost their college scholarships last night. Another local high school student has passed away. Another three dead. Claimed the life of another local teenager. Because? Alcohol. 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 I don't want to be another number. 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 I don't want to be just another number. And welcome back to Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Sports. And the Dragons lead Troy Athens 3-0 in the bottom of the fifth. Getting ready to start the bottom of the fifth. I want to thank our camera operators, Tim. Tim and Rob outside uh, braving these cold temperatures as Tessa, our third camera operator, is nice and toasty in the press box one. with us. So, you know, membership has its privileges. <laughs> There's Rob freezing out there in center field, our new center field cam for this game. Too bad he can't hear me. I'd say, give me a wave, Rob, but that's okay. As uh, Alex Carpenter, the third baseman, has done a great job here today. Is up for the Dragons here in this inning, and she does a nice job dropping that ball in front of home plate, and she beats it out. Safe at first. That ball traveled three inches and, st and earned a base hit. Carpenter showing speed, and she's doing it all today. She's been in on a lot of the outs here uh, at third base, and there she registers her first hit of the game. Lead runner on for the uh, Dragons. Oh, her lead off first, the jump she had. I thought she was going, and so did uh, Obranovic, the catcher here for Troy Athens. Just keeping them off balance. One ball, no strikes. Strike right down the middle. Zimmer settles down and fires it in just when you think she might crack. She does a nice job of settling down and getting back in the game here. Chopper to third, foul. One ball, two strikes. 24, Julie Malier. 
Up for the Dragons here with one ball, two strikes. Oh, nearly change up. And second base is taken by Carpenter easily. The off-speed pitch takes longer to get to home plate, and she got the jump. And Carpenter goes in easily and is in scoring position with no outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Two balls, two strikes on Malier. Oh, skips it up in the wild pitch. And Carpenter rounds third, but is drawn back in. <laughs> She threatened, you know, hey, man, round third, make them make that throw. If you get a jumpy catcher, they may throw it wild, and you are in for a score. But Obranovich uh, threatens the throw and takes it back in. Three balls, two strikes, and an infield fly ball. Played easily by the Sam Stosiak for the out, first out of the inning. Carpenter's still on third. Now batting number 12, Rachel Dolan. That was in the outfield. That run would have come in. And here we are, Rachel Dolan, the shortstop. Outfielders playing nearly on the warning track. Lace is a rocket right up the middle for another run here for the Dragons. Boy, timely hitting for Rachel Dolan. Gets the Dragons up 4-0. Now batting number as Carpenter comes home to score, Carpenter let off with that that uh, infield hit and makes it around to score. One out. And the bats are coming alive now. Deadway center field, and it is gone. Two-run shot by number 16, Kayla Knoblock. And the Dragons break it open here in the bottom of the fifth. And the team is there to... Greet her at home plate as they should on a two-run shot to right center field. I think she was aiming for Rob out in center field, and he leaned to his left a little bit and just uh, got out of the way. But what a shot by Knoblock. Six-nothing lead. Dragons rolling here in the fifth inning. They scored one in the third, two in the fourth, and so far three here in the fifth. And number 22, Kennedy Thomas, before I can even introduce her, is on with another hit. And Zemmer is uh, in trouble now. Now batting number 21, Alicia Gronowski. Gronowski up to bat number 21, looking to keep this uh, onslaught going. We've seen the long ball do uh, wonders for the Dragons against Troy, the Troy Colts here and now against Athens. Long ball re rears its ugly head to the uh, starting pitcher as, what are they going to say, out. Oh, trying to steal second. Said she's out. Thomas, I thought she had a hand on the bag unless her finger came off right at the last second, and the coaches are kind of shaking their head going, are you sure? One ball, no strikes, two outs now, and a nice throw down by Bravanovic. Ooh, just foul. One ball, one strike. Thought uh, Thomas was in at second. The aggressive base running by the Dragons have paid dividends. First uh, two and a half innings, it was looking like nobody could get on base, but now the, the hitting has really opened up. Strike two. Boy, she'd like to have that one back. Granowski. Change up high. Kronowski, good eye on that one. Two balls, two strikes, two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Knoblock on the two-run shot. Uh, check swing. That's the third strike. Kronowski is out. So are the Dragons, but they do their damage. Three runs here in the bottom of the fifth and a 6-0 lead going into the sixth inning. And we're going to take a quick timeout as we change sides. This is Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Softball. Hey, this is Mickey York from Fox Sports Detroit. When I want to get the inside scoop on local sports, I watch between Terminus or Fox Sports Detroit. Yeah, 
And welcome back. Uh, about to get to the sixth inning underway here. Dragons take the field and warm it up. And we see the away fans uh, huddling up. You see them. It's a chilly one out here. And you got winter coats late in May. And uh, the Memorial Day holiday just around the corner. And it's a, uh, it's a chilly one out here. But they, uh, the Dragons bats are heating up. And at the bottom of the fifth, uh, Canoblock goes yard for a two-run shot. Almost uh, dead center field to really bust it open. And Gonzalez settles in here to uh, shut down Athens once again. Ball low. Matty Rizzo, the left fielder, is up to bat here for Troy Athens. Looking at ball one so far. Foul ball back off the backstop. Complex down here is really an impressive one here for softball. They have three fields uh, to choose from. The varsity field, of course, which we're on now. Then they have another one that is uh, used for JV. And then a freshman field down the, down the way. As two strikes are registered on Rizzo. Gonzalez doing a nice job once again. Chop foul off home plate. Stays alive. So far, I was going to pick uh, some players, uh, player of the game. I would say uh, Alex Carpenter at third base, done a nice job all around in the infield and at the plate. Carpenter, just as I say that, ball skips up to Carpenter. Misplayed just a little bit, had an odd hop. And uh, Rizzo gets on base for Troy Athens, registering her first hit and the first hit of the game for Troy Athens. Well, Carpenter has been solid all game long until that, that hot tomato came her way. No outs here in the top of the sixth. Inside, ball one. Sierra Gonzalez. Time is called at home as third base. Uh, well, it's, I think it's Dave uh, Marr, the head coach at third, is saying pinch, run, pinch runner. As Rizzo takes a seat for the pinch runner number 10. I don't have a full roster with me, so we're not can't identify number 10. But Sam uh, Stosiak is up to hit bat here for uh, Troy Athens. And a base hit to the wall. That might get a run in. They're waving her in, waving her in. Here comes the throw, and they hold her at third. Nicely done by the Dragons to get that ball into the infield to uh, stop that threat. Runners at second and third. Second hit of the game for Troy. Gonzalez had a no-hitter going through the fourth inning, or through the fifth, and registers a two- First two hits of the game here in the top of the sixth. Heater misses just high as uh, the catcher Jensen Obranovic watches that one go by. Obranovic has done a nice job. She's thrown down uh, two attempted uh, base stealers here for the drags on and a changeup gets Obranovic for strike one. Runners at first and second, no outs, one ball, one strike. Dragons lead six, nothing. Gonzalez. Nicely done. Change up right down the middle. One ball, two strikes. Infield in. Strike three. Swinging. Now batting number three. Six Sarah strikeout Watson. for the freshman, Sierra Gonzalez. 
As top of the order comes up here for Troy Athens, Sarah Watson, third baseman, chaps it down third base. They hit third base, and they're going to say she waved foul. The um, home on home plate umpire waved it foul. I think uh, Dave Marr has an argument here. Let's see if the uh, referees get together and chat. They're going to get together and uh, talk about this. Uh, home play at Ump said that it was a foul ball. They're going to talk about it. This is a smart play by the Umps to get together to talk about this to make sure everybody is on the right page. Um, Dave Mars calling that a fair ball because it looked like the ball ricocheted off the corner of third. Uh, actually, the base itself. So what are they going to say? If they're going to call it a fair ball, then a run will score. So they're going to talk about it with Coach Marr here at third base, and it's quite an extensive discussion here. As the Dragons uh, infield meets at uh, the pitcher's mound. Dragons up 6 nothing here. We'll see what happens. Quite an explanation here. And the, um, the home plate ump is uh, kicking third base. <laughs> I'm not sure what they're looking at here. They're going to say foul ball. So a break for the Dragons here. Athens shut down on the challenge, I guess, and uh, they're going to say it was a foul ball. We don't have instant replay here in the booth, but maybe we'll see it in the highlights during uh, Owen TV News <laughs> the following week. So tune in to Owen TV News at 8 a.m., 12 p.m., and 10 p.m., seven days a week on Orient Neighborhood Television, Comcast Channel 10, to see if it really was a foul ball. Gonzalez comes back strong after that layoff there with the discussion of that uh, questionable play with a strike. No balls, two strikes, one out here. Runners on second and third. Now there's no question about that one. That one is a foul ball. Sarah Watson thought she had a double on her hands. But here she is at home plate with uh, no balls and two strikes. Just misses outside. Gonzalez, boy. Doing a nice job, just picking her spots and hitting them. Still ahead in the count. She goes outside. Two balls, two strikes. We've seen a wide strike zone. The corners are in play. That one was just a hair outside. Again. Accuracy, she's hitting the same spot, three straight pitches, and now three balls, two strikes. Uh, Watson earned a full count. Gonzalez would not, uh, would not want to fill the bases here on a walk. We'll see what happens. Right down the middle, over to short. Bob of the ball, not a force. They go back to second. And it's it wasn't a force out, so they're safe at second. The run scores. And Athens gets on the board here in the top of the six, six to one. As uh, Mary Grace Stark, the shortstop. Stark is up here for Athens, looking to keep this rally alive. One out, two on. And lace down the right field line, and that is foul. So if you really look at the argument over the foul ball from third, there really wasn't one because ultimately the run came home anyway. <laughs> but be sure to tune in to Owen TV News to be sure to see what happened on that controversial play. Gonzalez lines up on one strike. Dribbler to shortstop. They go to first for the second out. The runners advance. Athens making some noise here in the top of the six. Now batting number 13, Haley Zimmer. Runners on second and third as Haley Zimmer steps to the plate. And timeout called here by Coach. 
Coach Waitera gra gathers the ladies here at uh, the pitcher's mound to have a little discussion. I have the timeout. Just want to make sure if you would like to order a DVD copy of this or any other broadcast by Orion Neighborhood Television, give us a call at 248-693-3377. And for only $10, you can copy of this and any other broad uh, program in our broadcasting vault. DVD copies for only $10, 248-693-3377. And be sure to visit our webpage at orionontv.org and visit our programming guide for the re replay times of this softball match and other uh, Dragon sporting events on our schedule. You can also visit our webpage and click on the YouTube link. It'll take you right to our YouTube channel and all of our games that we cover are loaded up to YouTube. And you can take a peek at those at your leisure on-demand viewing of Dragon Athletics. Well, here we go after the timeout. No balls, no strikes, two outs here in the top of the six. Athens on the board. And a fan there by Zemmer. No doubt about that one. Foul ball, straight back. Like I said, against uh, at the Colts game, my favorite friend is the backstop because that was coming right at me. No balls, two strikes. Gonzalez ahead in the count again. Looking for a seventh strikeout of this game. Line shot deep and off the wall. Two runs score as Zemmer got all of that one, hit it a ton, landed right at the base of the wall. Two more runs, score, six to three, and the, the six-run lead has been cut in half by Athens in the top half of the sixth inning on this rally here. Haley Zemmer gets it done for Athens as she comes off the field for a uh, 14, pinch runner. So two outs here in the sixth. And Athens showing signs of life and getting back into this ball game. Strike one call, a number of, can't see the number there. Can't see the number in the back of the jersey just yet. 14, I think it's uh, Genero. Change up, this should get us out of the inning. And that's it. Nice infield play by the Dragons, gets him out, but Athens shows some life, scoring three in the top of the six. Dragons lead six to three as we go to the bottom of the six. After this short timeout, you're watching Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Softball. Stay tuned. Back to Owen TV's coverage of varsity softball. Athens did a number on the Dragons in the top of the six, scoring three on the double by Haley Zimmer, who gets in two on her own. So uh, Athens showing some uh, signs of life. We knew this was going to be a close contest when the Dragons went up six nothing. We were all in the booth here, kind of kind of surprised about it. But uh, Athens uh, responded like we knew they would. And here we go with the Dragons here. Number 18, Hannah Hame, first baseman. Takes a ball low to start off this bottom of the sixth inning. Hame's done a nice job 
think she registered the first uh, official hit of the game for the Dragons back in the third. One ball, one strike on Hame. Change up. Nice pitch by Zimmer. Bottom of the fifth, the Dragons were really peppering the ball all over the field, and uh, Zimmer looked like she was uh, losing some of the zip on her ball, but soft grounder over to short and easily thrown out by number seven, Mary Grace Stark. First out of the inning as... Now batting number eight, Megan Hall. Megan Hall comes up to bat for the Dragons. Hall has shown some power she had last time up, she pulled a rocket to first base, just foul. One ball, no strikes on Hall. Hall's hitting 276 on the season. Check swing strike. One ball, one strike, and one out here in the bottom of the sixth. Dragons lead six to three. Soft fly ball is short and it can't not play it well by Athens and that's number seven Stark. Stark just made a nice play, uh, just one batter earlier, but can't get a handle on that floater, and it falls in as the infield shifts into a crazy formation here. Third baseman ran over down the first baseline as Megan Reamer comes to the plate here for the Dragons. Again, scouting report on Reamer says infield hit all the way. No balls, one strike, one out, and one on. Ball high. Third base, Sarah Watson playing down the third or first base line. A shortstop plays uh, Stark is at third base. Reamer. Tap foul, two strikes. One ball, two strikes on Reamer. Megan Reamer. 333 hitting on the season. Only three strikeouts though. Megan Reamer, the bottom of the order, and strikes out. Two outs here in the bottom of the six with Hall on first. Top of the order with Carpenter. Fourteen stolen bases for Carpenter. I think that is up. She has more than fourteen now. That one is fouled back. Dragons would like to keep uh, keep that rally going that they had back in the fifth. Inside. Good reaction by Carpenter to get out of the way. That was short, shoulder level. Good reaction there by number one. They are swapping players here. Worsney. Worsney coming in, number 11, replacing Hall at first. So here comes uh, Jen Worsney, the junior, as Hall sits down. The sophomore, Megan Hall, takes a seat. Carpenter, one ball, one strike. Check swing. Fouled back. One ball, two strikes. Haley Zimmer looks uh, re-energized after that, uh, that double she knocked to the wall. And she brought that energy back to the mound for this inning, and she's doing a nice job. High, ball high, and... Stolen base by Worsney. Nice job. 
Nice job by Jen to get to uh, second base and get in scoring position. Two balls, two strikes, two outs here in the bottom of the six. Stays alive. Carpenter just a little bit tardy on that fastball. Got to protect that plate. And Carpenter is doing that so far at this at bat. Big pitch coming here. Oh, ball looked high. They're going to call a strike three, and that's the end of the inning. Dragons threaten, get somebody on second. But that's the end of the six. We head to the top of the seventh. Dragons up six to three over the Red Hawks. We're back after this short timeout. You're watching Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Softball. Please remember that CFL bulbs, you know, those curly, energy-efficient light bulbs everybody is using to save electricity, shouldn't be thrown away in your trash. Neither should batteries or home medical sharps. You can check with your local community to see where they can be recycled. Some retailers will allow you to bring them in for recycling. You can also order simple kits online that allow you to collect your recyclables and simply mail them away to be properly recycled. This green tip was brought to you by your friends at Waste Management. And welcome back to Owen TV's coverage of Varsity Softball. This is our last uh, LOHS uh, sporting event of the year. I want to thank all of our viewers for tuning in all season long and, and watching the games that uh, we've been able to bring to you. We started uh, covering games back in August with football and went all the way through uh, the winter months with uh, basketball, a lot of basketball games covered by Owen TV. Yep, Mr. Joe Velez directed about 99 to 110% of those. <laughs> and we also brought you volleyball, so that was a good time. And we're trying to bring you all types of uh, Dragon sports. And that's why we're here today six, with uh, our crew here at the softball field. Dragons up six to three in the top of the seventh. Athens looking to uh, cut this lead, but Gonzalez leads off with a nice pitch and strike one. Uh, number six, Era Semets, the center fielder here for the Red Hawks. Fastball outside. High school softball goes seven innings. So if the Dragons uh, can get the uh, uh, Red Hawks out here, foul ball. The Dragons can get them out of this inning. And they maintain that 6-3 to three lead. And they will earn a share or earn the uh, OAA uh, division title. One ball, two strikes. Gonzalez, fans. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven strikeouts for Gonzalez tonight. Now batting number four, Amanda. She's Nova. done a nice job. Top of the sixth was uh, her only shaky inning. She bounced back nicely with a strikeout to lead this one off. Strike on the outside corner. Again, cameras aren't doing these pitches justice as they're floating in and out. Amanda Midfelt up here for the Troy Athens. Ball low. One ball, one strike. One out here in the top of the seventh. Dragons lead six to three. Fanned on that one, two strikes. Midfelt way out front. Dragons broke it open in the bottom of the fifth with the leadoff walk and some timely hitting and then the two run shot by Kayla Knoblock. Foul ball. And that's the story of the game so far, but Athens made a game of it here in the top of the sixth. Long fly ball to the wall by uh, pitcher uh, Haley Zemmer. Got Athens back in it. Reaching for that one, and that might take out a windshield or two before it stops moving. That one was out of here in a hurry. Amanda Midfelt. The 
again, the high school state softball tournament begins next week. Slapper two. Left field, and that is a foul ball. Left fielder Knoblock was in foul territory when she tried to make that grab. Back in, one ball, two strikes, and one out. Amanda Midfelt in here for the Red Hawks. Strike three, eighth strikeout of the night. Gonzalez getting the job done on the mound, and she is only a ninth grader. Maddie Rizzo, the left fielder, is up. Rizzo got a base hit the last time she was up. Two outs here in the top of the seventh. And Rizzo fans on strike one. Boy, would Gonzalez like to strike out the side to get out of this inning. Gonzalez. Nicely done. Strike two. One strike away from closing this game out is Sierra Gonzalez. Dragons ace on the mound. Just misses the corner. Dragons won it badly. One ball, two strikes. OAA title on the line. Just a bit high. Two balls, two strikes. Rizzo was not going for that one. Rizzo not giving the Dragons anything. Gonzalez. Sets and deals inside, flared foul. Just missed my minivan. <laughs> Good thing I have insurance, right? Two balls, two strikes, two down here. Dragons looking to close this one out. Off speed laced into center field. For a base hit, Rizzo, Maddie Rizzo, nice bit of hitting there by the left fielder to keep Troy alive. Battle back from a 1-2 hole to earn the base hit. As number eight, Sam uh, Stosiak, the second baseman, comes to the plate as a pinch runner comes in for Rizzo. I, I see uh, Athens getting aggressive on the base, base paths right now. Nothing to lose. Sierra Gonzalez eyes up the pitch, and here we go. Strike right down the middle. Two outs here in the top of the seventh. Dragons lead 6-3 to three with an OAA uh, divisional title on the line. They will face Waterford Mont in the first round of the MHSAA playoffs next week. Inside, just miss. Sam uh, Stosiak, good eye at the plate here for Troy. We'll see if Troy uh, puts the steal on here. Red Hawks. Foul ball, two strikes. One ball, two strikes, and two outs. Here in the top of the seventh. Dragons led by Kayla Knoblock on the two-run shot in the fifth inning. Bottom of the fifth. Oh, they're going to say outside. Look good. Oh, man. That was the ball game, but nope, it was outside. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Gonzalez wanted that one badly. Here it is, laced into the gap in left center. And that'll get a run in. Nope, they, they're waving them home. Coach Dave Marr was waving her in, but he held her up. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. And the Athens Red Hawks, Stosiak keeps them alive. Yeah. 
What a piece of hitting here by Athens to keep this game interesting. That's the second instance of uh, Gonzalez having two strikes on two Athens hitters and unable to uh, either register the strikeout or get a ground ball out. But you got to give credit to the Athens uh, hitters, Stosiak and Rizzo, to keep it alive. Two outs here in the top of the seventh. And Athens' uh, tying run comes to the plate here. Number two, the catcher, uh, Jensen Obranovic, who thought the tying run uh, coming to the plate would Nobody ever happen in this contest. But here we are. One swing in the bat, and we have an interesting little situation happening here. Gonzalez gets the signal in here from uh, foul ball strike one from uh, Malir. Julie Malir has called a good game here. Gonzalez, seven strikeouts. Eight strikeouts on the, on the day so far. Dominating. But Athens is still alive as that one sails wide. Ball one. One ball, one strike. Two outs, two on. Runners at second and third. Dragons looking for a ground ball. Something to get him out of this inning and take the W. Strike. Paints that corner. Again, two strikes. One ball, two strikes. Third time we've seen it to, in this inning. Gonzalez works the count to two strikes on these hitters. Obranovic, see what she can do. Just outside again. Gonzalez might be setting up for some, for an inside pitch here. She's been working the outside of the outer half of the plate. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Strike three, and that's a ball game. Ninth strikeout of the game. And that's how the game ends here on a strikeout by Gonzalez, her ninth of the game. And the Dragons take the first game of this doubleheader, 6-3. to three. But they also uh, earn an OAA division title. Some thought that uh, maybe next year would be the year that the Dragons would bu uh, burst on the scene and take the OAA. But, boy, did they come on strong this season. And they sit down the Red Hawks. In seven, six to three, the big inning was in the fifth on a, a timely walk and some big time hitting by Kayla Knoblock on the two run shot to bust it open. And the Dragons take it six to three in the final here. Want to thank you for tuning in. This is our final broadcast of the uh, sports season here for uh, ONTV and LOHS Sports. I want to thank all the crew and everybody in the press box for welcoming us in here and allowing us to do these games. And I'm your announcer, Ian Locke, for our director, Joe Velez. We'll see you next time on the air. This was ONTV's coverage of Dragon Sports. We'll see you next season. Take it easy, everybody.